Okay, I'm in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest near Trout Lake, Washington. I'm at the lowest entrance to Guler Ice Cave. It's funny, the cave's officially open year-round. You can drive here during the summer, but you gotta have the forestry park permit. And then in the winter, you can snowshoe here, but where you're gonna park, you're gonna have to have the winter park permit. But right now, I can park here and the day use is area is officially closed. So, I don't really need any permit. But anyway. So here's the entrance to the K. As you can see, it's a couple dozen feet down. It's a decent sized cave. And there's a good stairwell going down there. So it's somewhat easy cave. It's a tourist cave. But if you look here, notice there is snow on the um, stairs. Um, yeah, that makes them pretty slippery. I'm not going inside the cave today. I'm just here to look around, see how the snow looks and all that good stuff. I just want to see how the roads were, get a couple of pretty pictures. So that's the lowest entrance. That's the main entrance. If you're new, obviously you should come prepared and then go in that one, see how you like it. If you like it, keep going and you'll find the other entrances eventually. So over here, this is where there's are signs telling you don't spread white nose syndrome, no becca, no bleh, watch your pets, etc. It's also information. See, it says it's officially closed to the season, but you can use it at your own risk. Yay. Don't feed the bears. All right, then. I haven't seen any bears, but I haven't seen any bear paw prints either. I don't know if they'd be hibernating this time of year or not. It's only November 2nd, so could go either way, I suppose. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. There's spider webs with snow on it. I'm gonna help my camera's picking that up. That's, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So there's a strand right here of snowflakes on a spider web, spider silk. And then there's another one here. And then up here, there's more of a vertical one with uh, that is really cool. I guess I don't normally see that because eventually there's enough weight on the spider web to, you know, make it collapse. Interesting. Oh yeah, so here we go. Here's the trail, one of the trails. The others are basically blocked by fallen logs. So there's the second entrance up. This one's a little bit trickier. You can walk down easily enough, but gotta get inside the cave. You have to um, duck down and crawl. I really don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, I need to be careful that the ground isn't too slippery here. But yeah, as you can see, down in the actual entrance, there isn't so much snow because there's a little bit of airflow going through the cave. So even though it's an ice cave, it could be above freezing right now since it's still sort of early in the season. Notice over here, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way through there. So effectively, that part of the cave is a dead end. I mean, well, it's a long story. All right, so I'll keep going up the trail. So that's the second entrance, but who's counting? Oh yeah, I'm counting. All right, here's the next entrance up from the south to the north. There we are, there's the third entrance up. This one's a little trickier because you'd have to climb down there on the slippery rocks that have snow on them. But it is doable. I've been in this part of the cave. Perfectly good part of the cave. Just have to be very careful not to slip and fall. And that's true all year round, of course. Okay, so here's the next entrance up. Notice I could go down this ramp here, but you know what? Maybe I will. How bad could it be? I'm not wearing a helmet though, so I need to be careful not to slip.
yeah, I guess it's not too bad so far. So, you see this part here is walk-in. Now I'm down here, I could just walk right in for a while, but not for long. It's the same cave I was just looking at. So it does get smaller and smaller. But there's no ice yet, probably this time of year, so it's not really any point. Then over here, so that's the way I just came down. Notice there's a way back there too. That's also very short and a dead end. And then over there, that's very hard, but also a dead end. So this is like a four-way intersection, the three caves and then the way out. So that's kind of cool. But I already got a video this year, so I'm not going to bother go through again just yet. I'm just here to show off the snow. Whoops, got some snow on me. Okay, as you can see the trail, it keeps on going, but I don't think there are any more cave entrances. So I don't remember why this cave keeps going. It's probably people just were on a roll and decided to keep going, see if they get lucky. I'm not going to go any farther.